Hey, movie lovers and pop culture fanatics, feeling nostalgic for the good old days, worried Hollywood's out of ideas with all these sequels and reboots. Buckle up, the SA Files are here to dissect it all. This week, we're getting loud about Happy Gilmore 2, debating Sandler's career, and spilling the tea on P. Diddy's drama. Plus, will Bad Boys 4 be a box office flop thanks to Will Smith? We're serving hot takes, laughter, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button and don't you dare touch that dial. Welcome to the SF Files. We got a nice, fun show planned out for you. Gentlemen, let's kick it off. Happy Gilmore. Adam Sandler movie from, what, late 90s? Something, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, look, dude. It's getting a sequel. It's, <laughs> it's getting a sequel. It's being made by Netflix. There's no real details or anything other than it, it's going to happen. It's going it to happen. Happy Gilmore 2? What, like 20 years? 1996. Longer than that. That's like Adam Sandler reaching for money. Yeah. Well, didn't he do like a, a nine movie deal or something like that with Netflix? Yeah, he, he had that's, to. Yeah, he's been exclusive. That's why we, we keep getting movies like every year. That's like the, the Happy Madison productions and stuff like that from him. Bye. Uh-oh. Bye, CK. Awesome. Man, <laughs> down. Man down. Man down. He heard Happy <laughs> Gilmore too, and he's out. He, he, he wanted nothing to do with that. I told you, Sule, man. Even CK disapproved. <laughs> <laughs> See, my only deal, I, I would love it. I would love to have Happy Gilmore 2. Only mm-hmm. thing I'm worried about is like they change it up to where it's not as you know offensive and as golden as it was. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they're going to throw some like woke crap in it and all that stuff, but I'm excited. I would love to see it. I love the first one. It's one of my favorite movies back in the day growing up. I used to watch that and Waterboy. I put those two movies like on cycle all the time because they were funny. <laughs> they were fun. And, uh, you know, they're entertaining. I do have to say Happy Gilmore, I, I think, is at least for me anyway, easily one of the top three Adam Sandler movies for me. Oh, yeah. Damn. And easily. I, and that's probably like his first one, maybe one of his. No, no, second one. I think his first one was Wedding Singer. No, uh, mm-hmm. I don't know what his first one was, but he did Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore like back to back. But before he was known, he did Airheads with Brandon Fraser. Oh, oh, that was him. Which he did. Oh, which he was in that long before Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, I guess Happy yeah. Gilmore was his breakout, like his. Um, He's leading role, right? Where he Bill, I want to say is Billy Madison. I hated that one, but everyone loved it. <laughs> and then Happy Gilmore came after it, and it was I loved that one. I couldn't stand Billy Madison. <laughs> I know that's the name of the brand, but you know what? I didn't even know that was uh, a movie. Yeah, yeah, Billy Madison. Oh, now that I'm looking at the picture uh, of the cover, he's like a student or something. Okay, yeah, yeah. I never watched he that like, one. Oh, okay. He never graduated. I know which one that one is. Yeah. Hmm. It had its moments, but it wasn't Happy Gilmore level, in my opinion. Gotcha. And for me, yeah, over at Bill Madison, for me at movies? least, like the very first time I saw it, I was stupid. But I guess the more I saw it, yeah. the more I started liking it, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. It worked out way that way. What about uh, Happy Gilmore? What do you think on that one? I loved it. I loved Secret. it. I'm very excited for the, the second one. Um, Happy Gilmore, I guess. Yeah, well, yeah, way different than Billy Madison, but um, I really want to see where they go with this one because the way it ended the first one, thought was mm. was a great ending for it. So they want to see where if they can pick up as many years after, if the people are going to come back, the original people are going to come back, and see where he, where they're going with it. I'm really excited about it. Now, do you think he's going to do what he does with his other movies, where he lets like Rob Schneider and oh yeah, yeah oh yeah, all oh, of them yeah. There, basically, it's almost a guarantee. Kevin Smith. <laughs> Oh, not Kevin Smith. Kevin James. What's his name? The Llama. <laughs> David oh, Spade. Yeah. Llama. <laughs> now, <laughs> they they have to bring back Shooter McGavin, though. Oh, yes. They they have have to. Confirmed he's coming back. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, they, they haven't confirmed anyone. Well, I don't care. He's got to come back. 
He's got to eat pieces of shiitake mushroom for breakfast. <laughs> you eat pieces of shit for breakfast? No. That's all I care about. <laughs> yeah, do you know for sure that McGavin is yeah. coming back, but the other ones, I'm not sure. Yeah. He's, he's been in quite a few things recently still. Like, y'all ever watch that show, Ballers? No. I don't know the guy's name, but yeah, I just call him Shooter. <laughs> But yeah, he's he's in that for a lot of cameos, but he does a lot more towards the last and final season. Okay. But yeah, I love him. I love the stuff he does outside the movies because he still portrays Shooter McGavin in like commercials and some other stuff. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and, he, and that. I'm oh, sorry. Go I was ahead. just I was just gonna say that famous meme. You know, they put him and Tiger Woods together and one of us says one's the greatest uh, golf player ever and the other one's tiger woods <laughs> <laughs> nice so any well, theories what the sequel could be the story what, what, no what idea maybe he goes back to hockey <laughs> no no idea maybe his Does son I mean, plays golf now or that's actually what i was just thinking because uh, um they ended the first one like perfectly. There was no go- no sequel to it. Mm-hmm. So this one makes sense that maybe a son involved, like you said. Something. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? But shooters, shooters still got to be in it. Okay. Um, I'm the- a riot. I'm a riot if Shooter's not in it. <laughs> the only thing that I'm really worried about is it's been so long that, you know, maybe there's a, a, not a, a lot of people remember if like our generation, we know Happy Gilmore, but the new age, they probably wouldn't bother going back to watch Happy Gilmore. And like for me, like a, a few years back when they released Dumb and Dumber, Dumb and Dumber, Dumb and Dumber 2? Yeah. Whatever. Dumb I, and I Dumber-er. forget which one it is. Dumb and Dumber. No, not the one with the when they were kids, but the actual sequel when Jim Carrey oh, oh, came back for it. Oh, yeah. Just part two, I think. I, I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. I, I was excited for it because Dumb and Dumber is like one of my favorite Jim Carrey movies and it let me down big time. Mm-hmm. I was highly disappointed. It was it sucked. I mean, it had a couple good moments, a couple good gags, but it it overall it sucked. And it's just not the same. You know, it's a different era trying to be remade in today's world. It, it just didn't feel the same to me. Didn't have the same spirit. And you know, I, that's the one thing that I'm worried about. Happy Gilmore too. They're just in this part two, but they're really gonna reboot it for the new gen. Uh, maybe. Who knows, man. Uh- Adam Sandler's movies are hit or miss. Yeah. He puts out some fire and he puts out some real stinkers. And I hate to be that guy, but his Netflix track record, stinkers. <laughs> at least half, yeah, at least half of them are stinkers, like real bad. Yeah. I, I agree with you. He's got a few that aren't bad, though. So. Didn't he just put out a movie not too long ago? Like the Spaceman or some, something like yeah. that? Yeah. Well, that wasn't like, like one of his movies. Oh. He that was, was him, yeah, starring with a, a different brand. That wasn't a Happy Madison production. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's worth the watch. I'll say that. It's worth the watch. But rewatching it? No. No. Mm, I don't know, man. I don't know if you've seen any of them. Not, not goofy, like, you know, Billy Madison and stuff like that. But, like, where you play the serious role, he actually did a pretty good job on those. I don't know my opinion, but I think it'll be good. Oh, yeah. On serious roles. Uncut Gems? Yeah. I was going to say that Uncut Gems is phenomenal. Yeah. The one with the, the basketball player, he was great with oh, that, yeah, one. Yeah, that one. I don't know what the movie was, but he's like a scout. Big daddy. That one word. <laughs> yeah, that, that one's pretty good. It was it was still comedy, but it was it was, had serious moments in there. Hustle. Hustle. Yeah. Hustle. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Hustle. I haven't seen that one. It It's great. It's worth okay, a watch. Yeah. Okay. Who be Halloween? <laughs> be, be, that was a stinker to me. You think so? I thought it was terrible. I, I know it's for kids, but gee, terrible. It was it was pretty rough, but because it was in the Halloween season, it was like, all right, I'll watch it. Dude, the but. best part of the movie is Ben Stiller reprising his role from Happy Gilmore. <laughs> yeah. That was the yeah. best part. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, um, Murder Depp. Mystery, the ones with the... That, I like that, I like that oh. one, actually. You like oh, those? My. God, <laughs> See, Both, they're terrible. Really? I've seen the first one. I actually liked it. Yeah, I haven't seen the second one yet. I don't think oh. I've seen the second one either. But the first like, one, they're, they're, like, it was funny. They're they're Adam Sandler for sure. Like it's got his humor. It's got his touch on it. Like I, I, I thought it was good. 
I hated terrible. it. <laughs> <It's terrible. laughs> Both of them were terrible. <laughs> yeah. So I got mm. run over by a reindeer. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I never called it earlier. He's hit or miss. He's got some good ones. He's got some stinkers, just like everyone does. Help you go more, too? I guess we'll wait and see. Wait for that trailer. If they, if they keep that same energy from the original you know, 20 years ago, dude, it's going to be a banger. You already know they're not. Everybody, somebody's going to get offended. I hope so. <laughs> How about I just go eat some hay? I can make things out of clay and lay by the bay. I just made. What do you say? <laughs> Next story, we've got Seth Rogen is apparently working on the rated R Spider-Man movie animated. And we actually Ooh. talked about this a few weeks ago, a couple months ago, maybe. Or Guns had that brilliant idea. The amazing Spider-Man. Garfield? Garfield, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Garfield. Like a sequel to Garfield. Yeah, like right when he lost Emma Stone. Gwen. Gwen. Gwen yeah. Stacy, yeah. And then where he was saying that he stopped holding back his punches. He started kicking some, some real ass. Yeah, and was it No Way Home when he said that? It was No Way Home. No Way Home? Okay. Yeah. Where oh. he said he stopped pulling the punches. Yeah, because we, we, we gave the wrong movie <laughs> the first yeah, time. Yeah. yeah, we said Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> 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 the people in the comments eating us alive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> some point i just i stopped pulling my punches but yeah man garfield's story like during that lo- those lost years that would have been awesome that would have been cool but uh, apparently they decided to go in another direction they're going with venom which i'm okay with i'm okay if they go with a venom story um tom hardy he's about to end his trilogy i don't think he'll be reprising and venom you know popular character the tom hardy movies they're kinda... He might be doing more than three, though. You think so? Dude, they they got to throw him in the Marvel yes, universe, dude. They got to throw him at least in one Spider-Man movie. They got to at least fight, dude. <sighs> That's, That's what everyone's been looking for and great. looking forward to. Especially when we finally get a good Venom. Not the yeah. Eric Foreman Venom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, worst Venom ever. Oh, you guys hate I was so mad. <laughs> I can appreciate the, the third Spider-Man film now, but when it came out, I was so mad, dude. <laughs> but yeah, I agree with you guys. I would love to see Tom Hardy's Venom face off against any Spider-Man. Yes, yes, any. You got three to choose from. Yeah, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't mm. think, I think Sony is being big leagued. Marvel is like, nah, we, we acknowledge you exist. <laughs> But you ain't joining <laughs> your your universe, your own universe over there. What, what's that? What's that meme? Like? <laughs> well, oh, the the Drake one. Yeah, yeah. There you go. It's like, it's but not, they, it's not but, happening. But they put the <laughs> vulture in one of their movies now. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I could be wrong. I hope well, I'm wrong. Uh, so you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> well, either, either way, it's Seth Rogen doing a rated R Venom. Movie or show? Movie, right. movie, yeah. He's uh, producing and he's writing a script. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> uh, honestly, like, I, I hear you guys all saying that the new Mutant Ninja Turtles movie was good. Mm-hmm. But with that animation, I, I don't like it at all, how it looked. And I'm just not interested in watching it. And I'm hoping he doesn't ruin, in my, my eyes at least, mm-hmm. Venom with the weird animation also. I think that they were trying to do something similar but different compared to Into the Spider-Verse. Something that looks similar but something that looks different at the same time. I I wasn't a fan of it at first, but watching the movie, I liked it. It was okay. (laughs) It wasn't great. (laughs) And it's coming from the turtle guy. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I did the thing that I liked and didn't like about it. I guess you could say the storyline of how they became the turtles, I didn't like. They changed it from the original origin yeah the origin pretty much mm-hmm. yeah sticking to original was perfect i liked it. it made more sense actually <laughs> so they changed that and the animation i agree with 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 you on that one at first it was, I was like what the hell is this it looks weird but then when the action kicked in and the storyline kept going on it didn't really bother me I was like, okay it's not too bad overall i give it a yeah. b minus now seth rogan he's he's recently he's been working on some some good property he's been he's had his you know his fingers dipped in some some bowls there he's worked on what the boys 
Inv- so it's like <laughs> 20 other executives. The inv- uh, Invincible. Yeah, I, I don't know the, the extent of how much he's actually done, but I do know his name is attached to it. He's actually a voice actor in Invincible mm. with Alan or whatever his name, the alien. Yeah, that, yeah the one-eyed yeah. alien, which I'm going to put a picture here. Is it CK? Is that... Huh? Oh, my Whoa. God. Here we go. What? what? <laughs> no. Just can't escape it. It's that- just going to be a me, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. The two weeks in a row. This- <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's, he's got his name attached to Invincible. I think he's I think he's a little more involved with Invincible. More than the boys, anyways. Preacher. Something called Preacher. Preacher? I've never watched it. I don't know what it is. Preacher? 20, <laughs> 2016 to 2019. Some people liked it, apparently. But, you know, something that got canceled, I guess. But Seth Rogen, when he makes his movies, I, some of them are okay. I think he's a better, what do you call it, a supporting actor. He's got a worse track record than Adam Sandler. <laughs> I'd say probably 80 to 90% of anything he's involved in as far as acting is below par. He yeah. does have some great movies, though, here and there. But yeah. most of the movies, he, he's, what's that, Ashton Cooster? Oh, he has the same. He's yeah. He plays the same role in every movie. Kelso. That's yeah. Mm-hmm. Like y'all seen the the interview? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Him and uh, James Franco. Ooh, yeah. Franco carried that movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Franco carried that movie, and yeah, Rogan didn't do anything <laughs> except for lose like three fingers or something. <laughs> <laughs> I forget. <laughs> what about Pineapple Express? Uh, see i actually that's one of the ones that he actually did really well and he was good in that one Hmm. but like this is the end he was terrible it was a decent movie he was terrible in it yeah yeah i think he's just playing himself (laughs) that's where they what was it demons and stuff yeah that one but channing tatum wasn't he wearing like uh yeah he had that gimp suit yeah yeah Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. the dominatrix suit (laughs) <laughs> it was it was someone's bitch. <laughs> I call him Channing Tate Yum. Yeah, he's got some hits or misses. Seth Rogen. I just don't want him to voice anyone. <laughs> <laughs> In the Venom. Oh God, I. That's gonna be God. Venom's laugh. Dude. That's gonna be Venom's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want him to voice. <laughs> Venom. I didn't want him to voice Donkey Kong in the Mario movie, but oh, God. he did. He did all right until he laughed. But he, he did. He did fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but man, yeah, I'm I'm seeing it now, dude. Writer, producer, voice actor from Eddie Brock. It's like ah, uh, I can just see Jack Venom just like smoking a little joint there, like he always had in the movies. Yeah, can't go. He can't go. <laughs> well, watch this touch me without seeing that <laughs> somewhere. I'm oh, hopeful, man. man, that Seth Rogen at least he knows what he's doing. Um, these last few projects, at least comic book related, that he's had his his hands in. Um, I've turned out pretty damn good. I love the boys and Invincible. Uh, and the Turtles movie, I thought it came out pretty good. Uh, so I'm, I'm hopeful that this Venom movie turns out pretty good. Uh, my Amazon Prime I, ran out. I can't watch Invincible new episodes. We Well, I'm waiting for a trailer, of course, but I'm not holding my breath. I'll watch it, but yeah. I mean, it's Seth Rogen. I definitely, definitely want to see it. I don't really. I don't even know what to expect. Honestly, it's just Seth Rogen, man. <laughs> I really don't know what to expect, <laughs> but I definitely want to see it though. Yeah. Well, what else? Can do you not know what to expect? Well, Pirates of the Caribbean reboot, Caribbean not a continuation reboot. I heard there was a rumor where it was going to be a reboot, but this time the main character is going to be a female lead. That's what they were going to do. I heard that a long to, time ago. Yeah. Like the daughter of Jack Sparrow. The last movie, I don't remember which one it was called, because they made what, like five or six of them. Yeah, something. That like one that. with the ghost <laughs> or something, the Spanish ghost, I think. Where's like? I a- have no idea, dude. I haven't seen it in like fifteen years. Yeah. But like, or ten years, however long ago it was. But literally, like six months after that movie came out, they called for a reboot for the whole franchise, and mm-hmm. it was like wow okay that's like a little early and they went on and on and on about doing this reboot then they're like oh no we're gonna do another pirates of caribbean with johnny depp yeah and it's gonna continue it's like okay well 
I don't know what the hell else you can do because like the last movie was send off to everyone as is. So it's like well, mm-hmm. making sense. And then the whole Johnny Depp got canned because of Amber Turd. Mm-hmm. And then that whole nonsense went through. So the, the project got shut down. And then, of course, you know, last year, it was last year, the, the whole trial thing, right? Yeah, or the court so. thing with Amber Turd and within yeah. the and then, last two years. Yeah. 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 So. After that, yeah, Johnny Depp's like, I'm done with Disney. I'm never doing another Pirates or doing anything for him ever again, which I don't blame them. Yeah, they can them for no reason. But, yeah, now they're talking about doing a reboot again. It's like, dude, you know, the others were, honestly, they age well. They look mm-hmm. great. They yep. play great. They're great movies, except for the last one. Last, Like I said, <laughs> the last one was like a send-off. They brought everyone back for the cameo and all that stuff. And, yeah, but... Why? I just feel Pirates of the Caribbean is not Pirates without Johnny Depp. Jack, oh, I agree. Jack Sparrow is the face. He's the comedy. He's everything in that movie. I don't think it's they a great character. Out. Dude, he like owned that character. He's mm-hmm. literally, you know, for uh, Jack Sparrow, he's the RDJ, the, the Iron Man. He's the face of it. You know, no one else is going to outdo him ever i agree with that i i will say that the last pirates movie it was just johnny depp it was just jack sparrow elizabeth swan and what's the other dude orlando name? bloom yeah him he he didn't they didn't come back it was, no they came back for a cameo at the very end it was like 10 seconds long you're right you're right i did forget about that and they well, get 10 the, million dollars for that <laughs> the so whole movie probably. was about uh jack sparrow though right like yeah oh was, yeah yeah and I felt like the Orlando character and the Elizabeth character, they were missing, definitely. I think they're just a big a part as Johnny Depp is. Like the chemistry and the, the backstabbing and the storytelling between the three of them. It's great between the first three movies. And I felt yeah. like it was big time missing. I don't know if, maybe it's just me, but Jack Sparrow only movies didn't work for me. I don't know. I don't know, as, and I agree with you guys. Jack Sparrow, you know, Johnny Depp, great. He's amazing. But I don't know if he could carry that franchise on just that one character. And without Johnny Depp. Right. Big, yeah, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah. I I don't know. I don't know. CK, what do you think? Um, probably going to get hate for this, but I have never seen a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. That's You've crazy never cats. seen any never. of them. Not one. Just get at the SFOs.com. Kick, kick, kick Are you off. for real? Kick, kick them off. Kick them off. I know. I know. <laughs> about it and stuff man, like that, but I've this, never this actually is, seen one though. Oh, this is like guns, man. We're <laughs> talking <laughs> the guns all over again. Whoa, whoa! I've at least seen. <laughs> to, be, to be honest with you, I know the most I know about all of about Pirates of the Caribbean. The most I know is just that song by Lonely Island. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> that's that's oh, the most man. I know. Oh. All right. Well, besides the last one, they're definitely a must watch. They are great. Like at least like the first four. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm well, sure, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Sure they're great, but for some reason, it's never it's never caught my interest. I guess. I don't know why. Oh man, when they came out on theater, they were as big as like the Matrix and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like you had you, you couldn't wait to watch part two of the Matrix. Well. <laughs> It's Pirates of the Caribbean, out. they left them so, like, you know, cliffhanger from hell. It's like, oh, my God. It's like, how you end a damn movie like that? So they forced you to wait and all that. They were great. They were fantastic. Yep. Like, and Johnny Depp, the first, like, 10, 15 minutes you see him and the way he acts, like, what am I watching? <laughs> it's like, are you for real? Is he really, <laughs> like, acting like this? He does it through every movie. And it becomes like second nature. To, it's like, damn, you know, the amount of skill it took to do that. He's a phenomenal actor. Dude, I have the freaking song stick in my head right now. <laughs> yeah. Which one? The the pirate the main, one. The main theme. Uh, <laughs> you know, Tiesto did a remix of that. I was just thinking about that. I was like, yeah, when that movie yeah. came out, like, Menard sent me that track. Yeah, Tiesto was like, ah, that was like the biggest freaking track like ever that year was the Tiesto <laughs> version of that song. Oh man, so so good. CK, go watch it. At least the first one, dude. The first one's great. Yeah, I, 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 dude, they're all good. Shot. See what happens. 
good. The, the first three were great. I want to say part four was decent as well, but the last one, I, oh, yeah, <laughs> it, it's painful. Well, reboot Pirates of the Caribbean. I, I'm not interested at all. I'll probably watch it once, but just to give it a shot. Yeah, but if I, it's free, but I, I already feel <laughs> yeah, I ain't going to no theaters for that. I'm going for a stream. <laughs> but I'm saying like, if it fails, like I think it's gonna let me fail. Like I don't have high hopes for it. But just to give it a shot, hmm. I, I think if they try to recast Jack Sparrow, those are some really big shoes to fill. Oh yeah, and the like, actor has, who takes that role had better bring it because he's going to get eaten alive if yep. he comes comes up short. Like Wolverine, dude. Yeah, they, mm-hmm. they don't have nobody who's going to replace him yet that I know for of. sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're 100 percent right. I, I'm curious. You know, maybe it's been a long time. A good while since we've had a, a Pirates movie. So maybe. I like the franchise. Maybe. Maybe it's time for a reboot. Jack Sparrow, isn't it? Captain Jack Sparrow, if you please, sir. You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. Next up. Let's let's bring it back up. Bring it back up. Guns. Take lead here. Helldivers 2. What's, 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 what do we got? Oh, yeah. Look at him. Look at him. He's happy. <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> <laughs> democracy democracy i'm gonna get that cup by the way dude i think oh, I, yeah dude i think i gotta get it too <laughs> that, I, I, did I you see it. the candle dude where did the candle say? it's a smells like spreading democracy it's a big ass <laughs> candle <laughs> that's awesome dude. and what, what the mug says something about tea yeah liver tea this liver is tea. like one one cup of like ass whooping or something i forget what it <laughs> yeah. says. it's great it's it's I, Honestly, I'm going to get the cup, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, someone's having fun designing these things, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess they're they're bringing back a previous bug from Helldivers 1, which, unfortunately, I did not play, but I know my boy Minarum has. It He's looks an OG. like a, they're, they're bringing, what was it, Tremors, the big-ass yeah, worm. It, it's like a giant freaking Tremor slash Caterpillar slash Dune Worm. Or Beetlejuice. With tentacles, by the way. Ooh, sexy. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Guns got excited. Mm-hmm. Guns got excited and sent that little piece. video. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, dude, half the enemies that are in Helldivers 1 aren't even in Helldivers 2 yet. <laughs> it's like, we've got a lot to look forward to and a lot of training. Mm-hmm. Hive Lord ain't no joke. Just wait okay. till the Terminator comes in. He looks like the big ass like Terminator tank uh, from the movie. Oh crap! I'm just saying. With, if, if oh, we, it's if awesome. We, if we have Josie on our team, man, oh, done for. We are, we're done. Yeah, you're done. Yeah. Brother, Brother Jay, he likes. He's that bad. Dude, oh, he's horrible. He, he has a lot of friendly fire action going. <laughs> on. Oh my god! And then he denies it. Oh, man. Just I clip finally, it. <laughs> I finally gave in. I bought it. I played damn, a little bit. Damn right. <laughs> It's awesome, isn't it? It's pretty fun, dude. I'm, I can't deny it. It's it's yeah. it's pretty fun, dude. I need to make movies, but I've got clips for at least three movies. <laughs> Damn. So I saw some some screenshots. They're already like on the map in certain areas, but they're like frozen or, or oh, like it's their carcass, uh, like, oh. carcasses and they're, skins. Yeah, they molted. Okay. What okay. So it's like you no, know, here it's coming soon, more or less. Yeah. You know, little little Easter eggs. That and then uh, when when you're doing some of the missions, you feel like the the ground shake, like you see oh. like, for like a quick oh, cool. second. Yeah, like earthquakes and stuff. Yeah, and then like you slow down, and when that happens, I like try to dive like three times. Usually, it works on the first one, like when you get hit by the little exploding plant thing. Mm-hmm. Like you dive and you can run again, but but this, it, yeah, I dive like three four times and i'm like okay i gotta wait it out damn dude so like in in the first one they pop up and what they, do they follow you or they just stay in that one hole uh, well man? the first one it's more of like a, a boss stage mm-hmm. so you go there and it's literally a boss stage you fight him with minions running around and his tentacles and stuff like that so Sexy. you're really you're really not doing any objectives or anything you're just there to kill him Beat the uh, balls. Okay. so i'm thinking hell divers 2 they might do the same thing or dude you know when they increase the difficulty to 15 
They yeah. might actually throw him in the middle of like whatever objective you're doing. Random. Yeah, like random encounters in the maps. Yeah. Wow. Which I'm hoping they do that. I like that. A boss stage thing. I don't really care for that too much. But yeah, random. You know, you're just in a, a difficulty twelve or higher level. Uh, you're doing the objective, and all of a sudden he shows up. That's what I'm talking about. I yeah. hope they do something like that, and I think that's what they're probably going to do. Did you just assume the worm's gender? <laughs> it's a giant tick. Come on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's a big ass monster in the first one, and they've oversized everything for Helldivers 2. Hmm. So I can only imagine this thing's going to be like a dune sized worm. It's going to be huge. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of dune-sized worms, oh, oh, did you guys oh. hear about P. Diddy? Oh, my God. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my God dude. CK, you're the music guy. Have you heard about this yet? P. Uh, Diddy? Unfortunately, yes. Apparently, he is following R. Kelly's footsteps. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the only difference is the police caught R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a matter of time, I think. They already, what, they raided his place already. He escaped, which is foolproof that he's not innocent. He's pretty guilty. They said they already raided his place and found things that were off. And they found, what, like tunnels, I heard someone say? Tunnels they found? Yeah. I heard they found tunnels under one of his houses. Yeah. That's That's like Mexican cartel. Yeah. He's going to Mexico. (laughs) He had them them sex dungeons. (laughs) Ooh. (laughs) Whips and chains and everything, dude. That's Damn, terrible. Man. It's all coming out now. Yeah, it's been going on for decades, evidently. That's what I can. I don't get it. I don't oh. get it. How come no one said anything? There was no Ooh. sign of it, no evidence of anything. He probably paid a lot of people. Actually, yeah, I heard. It. I, I was going to say, I, I heard something back in the day. Every time like an accusation came up, they were like paid under the table type deal to go away. Hmm. I, get, I don't know what happened. I guess something happened recently to where FBI called caught wind of it and they they're going after him well, well you have the money for it so, so i don't doubt it that and i'm not 100 percent sure but i could have sworn i heard that they found him connected to tupac's murder we'll leave tupac cuba, ain't bro. dead bro he's in cuba <laughs> yeah he's in cuba or somewhere he ain't dead he's hanging out with elvis yeah he's still making music we're talking about <laughs> yeah didn't you hear elvis is a like a priest now exact Probably. same voice and oh. everything man I was like, how, you know, Tupac gets wasted, evidently, and all of a sudden he's got like four albums that come out every other year. I'm like, Jesus, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Laying tracks beyond the grave. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No. Well, We got one more oh. story before we call it a day. We ride together. We die together. Bad boys for life. <laughs> I, I'm actually excited for the movie, even though part three was trash. We don't speak of part three. Exactly. It never happened. What, okay, what happened in part three? Was that the one where Will Smith, his character, finds out he has a son? Yeah, what? yeah. No. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, three, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like his past comes to kill everyone that was involved with, you know, putting this chick's husband in the drug cartel way mm. and all that. Yeah, yeah. Mike Rowley. That's right. Rowley, okay. Yeah, he's got glasses. Uh, yeah. Martin Lawrence. Like I said, I thought that movie they did it because Martin Lawrence needed money. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. what it felt like because the movie I, it felt like Bad Boys Two remade, you, and you they changed up the story a little. I think you're right. It did feel a lot like Bad Boys Two, but I like Bad Boys Two. Oh, I love Bad Boys Two. I love Bad Boys One. They were both you know fun, good action movies. Mm-hmm. But three did not do anything I wanted. I felt like they were spread apart just enough to where it was enjoyable because I, I kind of missed those characters, I guess you can say, and for them to come back, you know, it, it was it was fun for me. Comparing it to the second one, it's like okay, yeah, there's there's a lot, a lot of similarities there. One thing I do like about the movies how they're keeping like some of the old characters, like Reggie. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They yeah. bring <laughs> Reggie back. Yeah, that's awesome. Like I forget which one it is, but he like makes a little appearance, like as a military dude. Yeah, and then he like yeah. disappears, and now he's back, like full dad mode. Yeah, I like those little cameos. What are you, 
Hi, Mr. Bennett. I'm Reggie. What you doing here? Came to take out Megan. How old are you? I'm 15, Mr. Bennett. You look 30. Yo, who that is, it's John? Reggie! <laughs> I don't know, something something yeah, about that one, one scene that's in the hilarious. trailer where they talk, when they talk to him on the couch, the fact that he mentioned he has, he has a military background, but for some reason, I think he's going to have something... He's going he's gonna to get involved with them somehow with them to mm. do something. Uh, mm, did not think about I get, that. I get a feeling the way, the way they worded that and from what I saw, I think it's going to have something to do with the, their main plan. He's going to step yeah, up. Yeah, do something. You heard it here, folks. CK, C, CK's calling him, yep. man. CK's CK. calling him. Big CK. He, he said it here first. I'm excited. I, I, the trailer looks phenomenal. The part three's trailer, I was bored to death. And watching the movie, I was bored to death. Part four looks like they're going back to part one and two's roots. And it looks fun. It looks enjoyable. The comedy looks like it's there. So I can't wait. I think they messed up, though. Because Bad Boys 3, they named it Bad Boys for Life. Yeah. And that right there. For Life. That, that's part four, man. Come on. Come on. Mm-hmm. Missed opportunity. This, ain't this one called like Ride or Die? Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. But that's their saying: "We ride together, we die together." Yeah, bad boys for life. Yeah, missed opportunity. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't think they intended on making a part four. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. But hmm? I just want Will Smith to slap somebody. Just <laughs> well, I was going to say, slap. you know, that's actually what I'm wondering. <laughs> I wonder if this movie's going to tank because of that. You still got a lot of people are no, pissed man, off at Will Smith out there for he, sure. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So. That was what two years ago. It's still fairly fresh. Dude. Two, three years ago. Dude, unless yeah. They, unless they pay him two a pretty years. penny just to make that little cameo, they get that dude, slap he's... again. Oh no, that'll never happen, dude. dude. Chris Rock already like destroyed his world and his little his little Netflix skit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm actually surprised Will Smith went back to work already. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. He got canned from like everything, so I yeah. guess it's the only thing he could get back in. Well, that and I Am Legend Two, which they're making a sequel based oh, yeah. off the alternative ending. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, okay, two big films. If these two can take off, I, I think he'll be set. He'll be good. He'll be back. But it was pretty quick. You're right. Because everyone been. dropped him, dude. He lost everything from that slap. Yeah. Well, I hope you learn his lesson. But name I'm excited. Out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> After you see the camera catch him laughing, and then he looks yeah. at Jada. Yeah, yeah, dude, it was it was bad. I, I'm one of those guys. I'm like, Who you? Will Smith. You know, after doing that, and then of course, you know, it's not up to Chris Rock to press charges or not. It was caught on live TV. So it was like, ooh, the cops can come in and arrest them anytime they want. Assault. But I'm excited. I want to see it. It looks good. That's all I want. Slap somebody. Just, <laughs> you just want the slap. Uh, yeah. I Martin Lawrence. I just want to see it. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I, I'm, I'm saying it here, man. They got to get Chris Rock, man. He's gonna They're going to get it. He, he's going to be They're an gonna... innocent bystander, and he's going to be running, chasing the bad guy. Then. <laughs> It's going to be a Chris Rock wannabe looking guy. (laughs) And with that being said, gentlemen, we have run out of time. We have got to close it down. Please visit us at www.thesfiles.com where you can listen to all of our prior episodes. We talk trash. We talk films. We talk TV, anime, games. We just have a good time here. And feel free to follow us on social media. The CK, where can they find us? They can check us out on Facebook Instagram, Twitter X, TikTok, Threads, and YouTube. And if you want to listen to us on the go, Minarum. But they can hear us on Google Podcasts, which will be discontinued April 2nd. Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, YouTube Music, iHeartRadio, and Sweet Sweet Pandora. Mm. Love Pandora. <laughs> so much about Pandora. Ever. Yeah. I bet you have it. Never CK. Uh, <laughs> what was that? And Adrian K has requested that you send all your dick pics to oh. Adrian K at thesfiles.com. Mm-hmm. He would like all the big ones, the small ones, the long ones, the large ones, the mini ones, the micro ones, the heavy ones, the veiny ones, 
the Ooh. glizzy ones, the cheesy yeah. ones, the tuna Ooh. can size ones. He wants oh, all. Tuna. tuna. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Agent K, this is a com. Not dot com, dot com. <laughs> Those cheesy ones, man. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> CK, put that put that beef away. <laughs> uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. This is Bogus Bird signing out. This is Guns Douching Out. This is Menorum signing out. CK saying see you. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>